It's just fantastic to show my works at the Carousel du Louvre in Paris during the most important art week in France. The Pax Gallery presents several of my artworks here. The collectors show great interest in my works and I am especially pleased. Here I present the artwork Feel Free. It is one of the last works of mine. In this artwork I show an open attitude of the woman in modern society and not for nothing I have chosen the attitude and show how the women today are very good connected and open through the network. Connections such as mobile phone in today's society, without it is not at all. And the woman is not afraid to show herself openly by looking through the t-shirts her nipples. Through the fact that today we are very connected and digitized in the modern society, without social media today is nothing at all. I have called the artwork Feel Free with the hashtag Feel Free. This shows how free she feels herself and how she always has a beautiful mood with a beautiful smile and with the love which I show through heart-shaped sunglasses with radiant sun and the weight carries this love out through the world and that is especially important for me and my art. In the work of Chema, uh, Gil fascinates me high uh, quality uh, elaboration uh, and the uh, really uh, crazy uh, idea to place uh, a dead uh, head over uh, a human uh, being. Uh, Alone the idea to uh, grow uh, from uh, the uh, angle uh, of the mouth, uh, red uh, plants uh, and the fine uh, elaboration, uh, direct uh, gold uh, impulses pure uh, as well uh, as uh, the association uh, with uh, the hair uh, roots uh, from uh, the head uh, growing uh, surreal uh, plants uh, is simply uh, a masterful uh, creation. for PAX Gallery for inviting me to Paris and to do this. Uh, basically my artwork, I've been, I've been biking a lot. I find it's a great way of an alternative transportation and to seeing the world and traveling and this was my first exhibit in Paris. So I decided to bring wheeling around town to Paris to bike with me. So, and I mean, my style of painting is expressionism and in contemporary art so I use different mediums and lots of oil I make oil out of rocks sometimes so you can see the texture and the movement because I love movement and texture and that's pretty much all I could say about my artwork I hope you enjoy it Kim Hinkson, an abstract artist from Canada of the special class, I was impressed with the effect of the image Midnight Blue. The implementation of the colors, the shimmer, one really feels in the night sky transferred in one great boot of the midnight seas. Through the thick paint application, the artist achieves a very nice plasticity and through the shimmering gray tones one can directly feel and experience the falling down of the stars from the universe. It gives a very special feeling to the viewer of this work. that I've created, it was called Our Time. It's actually a trilogy. This was part one. And to be honest, this piece was after a breakup. So I gained my emotional art, being true to myself. So as you can see here, I think we all sort of have puppy love as a, as a child, as a teen growing up. So here we can see the, the dark pieces where I was so upset and so hurt over the breakup. But I know that it will come and it will pass and I think this is how 
the red and the yellow come to stay, even in the midst of depression and even in the midst of heartache, there will always be a brighter day. So that yellow and that red, the love coming through, even through the blue and the tears, it's the love and the warmth coming through to say that we'll get through this, days will be better. But all breakups do hurt and they do wash over you and feel like they're crippling you at times. But if you believe in yourself, there'll be better days ahead. There'll always be more love. You'll always shine. Particularly exciting. I find concrete selection of strokes in the work of Michelle Jenkins. This gives the picture a very strong character. Particularly noteworthy is the beautiful texture and the thickness of the color pads. I find it wonderfully how harmoniously it blends the blues with the yellow tones. The thick black brown strokes create a very nice tension field in this work of art. Here we have the artist Jeremy Picks, a really true master of his technique. One sees here a wonderful implementation of forms. The circular symbols executed in perfection. The genuinely impulsive paint spray produces energy. One feels big bang. It is like a clash of the universe, a regular color explosion, an explosion of feelings. On closer inspection, one also sees the subtleties of the works as a prehistory of the explosion of feelings. I am right now exhibiting my work with Pax Gallery in Louvre, and it's a great opportunity for me to show my work. These are dream narratives. These are first of all doodlings on the paper, drawings, and then culminated on the canvas and with innovative or experimental brushwork and the tonal quality of textures, colors, shapes and forms takes place. This is how the dream relatives come on the canvas. I think Hector Angelo has a very special way to talk about the bullying of certain social groups. Even with very high emotion, this is a very important part to point out the deficiencies of society. 